go online and search the word Q-SIP. That is C-U-S-I-P. And then put in the word prison sentence behind it. You will find that when you are assigned that fictitious case number, they take it, they turn it into a Q-SIP number, which was originally used for the sale of mortgages. They then sell that Q-SIP on Wall Street. I speak from personal experience, having found 37 companies who bought my false arrest, now that it's been dropped, it is still out there still out for there. over $1.7 million in Q-SIP bonds, even yeah. though the case was dismissed. Yeah. Look it up. Don't take his word for it. That's right. Don't right. take my word for work. it. Do yeah. your own research because right. this government is using you as a bond for money. It That's is right. there. The proof is real. There is no fictitious statements in what he is saying. It is truth. Look That's it right. up. Do your right. own research, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. That's right. This is how you are used. You can find all of this information through the IRS if you actually have certain access to it. And it will show you exactly how much you are worth. That's right. They yeah. issued a Q-SIP on you when you were born. Your birth That's certificate right. comes right. with a Q-SIP on the back. Yeah, absolutely. Q-SIP stands yeah. for Commercial Uniform Securities Identification Procedure. Yeah. If you have an old Social Security card, there are a series of red or black numbers on the bottom right-hand side on the back. That is your bonding number through the IRS. The numbers on the front are just for a dog and pony show. That's right. The court system knows you are worth money, That's and right. they will sell your QCIP bond on Wall Street. They will make a profit off of you. That's right. Are you a slave? If you are, then go home now. Do not listen to anything this man right. has brought you or that I right. have brought you. If right. you are a free human being, and are tired of this government using you like a slave, stand up, do your That's research, right. end this. Our founding fathers gave us that right That's in the right. Declaration. They said when you are reduced to despotism, it is your right to abolish. That's right. We it celebrate this for to 200... Of tyranny. Right there. Here comes we, another sucker. We the celebrate Q's this every year. The QSIPs are bundled together, and together they're right. sold together as what's called derivatives. They magnify the value of your of the slaves. Be nice. You guys know it. You know it, you bastards. Be nice. We must be above them. They are scum. This person is Folks, these are real. Most of you here already know this, but how do you tell your friends? That's what you need to do. The more that knows about this, the better we are as a nation. Speak loud. Can't hear you. We are conditioned in our lives to accept the fear mongering that they hand out so that they have control. From day one at birth, we are given a birth certificate and a number that is issued that tells them they have the right to own you in capital letters. You are now belonging to them. And under them, they will do to your property what they wish. If you do not stand in front of the court and protest this, and in your silence, if I did not show up, I am guilty. If I do not say that this is an injustice that has happened upon my body, to myself, then I am held liable. That's right. And therefore, they have taken the noose and they have hung my persons upon this judicial system and said, I am guilty without say. That's right. Why do you think our founding fathers gave us under the Sixth Amendment in a criminal trial the right to a trial by jury? Why do you think in a civil case they gave us the Seventh Amendment? to a trial by jury. Only we can judge each other. That's 
if you allow a court and that black-robed Gestapo agent behind it to actually judge you in any case, then you have violated your own trust. That's Our right. founding right. fathers were specific. It's yeah. repeated. Look up their documents and letters to each other. A trial by jury of your peers, and you have the right to a fully informed jury that started in American history in 1794 and was upheld in Montana in 1906. You have the right to tell the jury, which is the only one who can judge you, that you must judge me based on the evidence and find me guilty or innocent, and you have the right to judge the law that I have been accused of breaking. This is the power of the jury. This is the power of the people. And if you do not spread this word, if you do not tell the people behind the badges and behind the robes, we the people rule, and the jury makes that so, then you are remiss and you have disgraced everything that the Founding Fathers right. and every soldier and free American has fought for. Yeah. If this sounds like a bunch of hoo-ha, please take your butts to China because I do not want you in my constitutional republic. Get on board with the jury, get on board with freedom, or get the hell out of this nation. Yeah. From the time you were children in school, you learned to write your name Capital letter first, small letters after that. Right. That is, in legal terms, if you go to Black's Law Dictionary, that's called capitis diminutio medius. That means you've lost your familial rights. Capitis diminutio maximus is what he's referring to, where they write your name in all capital letters, means you have lost your familial rights and your personal rights. You are reduced to Roman slavery. These are terms that come from the Roman law. You can look these up in Black's Dictionary. If you write your name in all lowercase letters, you are capitis diminutio minimus, means I reserve all my familial and all my personal rights. People, start writing your name, decondition yourself, and write your name in lowercase letters. Establish yourself. Now that you realize that, you know that you're not giving up any of your rights. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You have the power to be involved and change this. They tell you that the elections don't matter. They matter greatly because if you... I stand as myself and speak for myself in myself. And I am not the trustee over the old calf's name that you're operating on. But well, you're here in court today because you were charged with some charges. I'm here in court today because I am making a special visitation. This is not an appearance, only spirits appear. Living men, living persons make special visitation. That's why I'm here, to make sure that you guys don't tender my truthful, proper name. Do you still live at 28 Flying Eagle in Manhattan? Well, it is a storage unit that I sleep in from time to time. All right. I live in myself in this body. I am the living man. Mr. Putz on 9 3 of 13, and you asked at that time he appointed you a public defender. Did you apply for the public defender? What use have I for a voice of ruin? They can only speak fictitious legalese to you. I speak natural living man's English to you. It's called common English. That's the only thing that I work to. That's fine. There will be no legalese used here.
Well, you were charged on the 31st of August of 2013 with obstructing a police officer in violation of 457302. You were also charged on the same date with resisting arrest in violation of 457301 of the Montana Code. Those men were charged by me right back by staging an overthrow of the Constitution of 1789, an overthrow of the Bill of Rights, an overthrow of my rights to forage for food as a natural living person who was in hunger. I was searching for something to put in my stomach as I am recognized to be allowed to do by universal law has nothing to do with your corporate fiction. They violated everything and furthermore, for your knowledge, they violated Judge Holly Brown's Title 26 United States Code ruling which I went before her and prevailed on 21st March 2011. BPO 9-58A is the case number wherein she evidenced that I am not a taxpayer because I am not a federal citizen. Federal law trumps state law at every turn. I have nine judge rulings to that end, and that trumps state law. I am not registered crap. I am the living man, and I have the right to forage for food when I'm hungry. All right. But you're here on different charges. That this is, is not what's Holly Brown's courtroom. Ma'am, you can argue this all day long. You're operating on I'm a telling, corporate fiction. I'm telling you, you're here on some charges which were filed in three courts. I do not number understand one, those charges. Number one, you keep interrupting me, and I'm going to charge you with contempt, and you'll go to all jail. contempt of court is spelled C-O-double-A, and I know about calling this navigation. Sir, contempt is the storm. I said, be don't quiet until me. I get don't through Don't touch me, you ain't a gun. Don't Officer? you touch me. I am the living man protected by universal law. You keep Stand talking, down. and you're going to be charged with contempt, and you're going to go to jail. You have already contempted this place. No, I told you I would if you didn't You are trying to get down talk. here. These are the living witnesses to what you're trying to do. Very you good. are trying to create a fictitious, fraudulent action. You are trying to bilk the Federal Reserve by Sir? securitizing in all caps commercialized names. Sir? and notifying them that the they Officer. that they are standing in debt now. If you touch me, you will violate natural law. Do not come near me. I am then protected shush, by the land. Shush. Don't you tell me to shut up! I, I am, am the living natural man, and my voice will be heard. That is the Jolly Roger. That thing you call the American flag with the gold fringe around it is the Jolly Roger, and you are acting as one of his privateers. Okay. You're here on the charge of arrest. Who's I'm here arrest? by a special visitation. Right. And I've never let you get away with this, but I'm officer. here. To each charge, could be up to a $500 fine, up to six months in jail. I do not understand any charges. I only understand universal law and the right to live. Well, you to live at peace guilty. and to live as I need to. You pled not guilty in this in this. I court. never plead. Animals plead. Sound like, bah, oink, oink. I have a paper with your signature on it, sir. It says prime evidence standing right through it. You bring forward all natural right. forms of evidence that I'm not prime evidence. I am the living soil. The dirt, the water, and the air has its own voice, does it not? It all supports sir? forms of life, does it not? I am a part of that life. I am not your corporate fiction. Sir? Do not tender me. You're here today on an omnibus hearing. You've already pled not guilty. I am guilty. here by special visitation to see to it that you do not tainter my natural living man's name. Are you prepared That's why to tell I'm the here. court if you wish to go to trial on this matter? This is a trial. Tell no, me this not. isn't a trial. Here's my this jury is an of my peers. Hearing, sir. You cannot produce a jury of my peers because all juries are selected from a pool of registered voters, and the instant a person registers to vote, their natural ability is appear to comprehend natural law has been dissolved and okay. turned into fiction. There cannot be raised a jury of my peers. It cannot be done. Excuse me for just a moment. No way. Get back here and finish this. Hey, hey, get back here and finish this. The judge has left the courtroom. There you go. You won. Yeah. There is nobody in this courtroom. Yeah. The witness. judge has yeah. walked out. The judge has walked out. Everybody I said up and no out. excuse. Everybody up and out. I'm not letting you go. Up and out. 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 <laughs> Thank you.
go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Don't dally. Let's go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. I don't know. Come on. Where's the driver? Leave him with me. Most object, I am not the name that he is referring to. I am the living man. The name that Mr. Riley refers to, ma'am, is held by the state in all capital letters and is identified by the state on the state's driver's license, ma'am. I am not the all capital fiction. I am the living man whose mark is that of life. It is called a signature, and the nature of that sigil, ma'am, is the living person. It is never in all capital letters. Ma'am, I must to object, ma'am, without proper no. evidence of oath and bond as required, and I am backed, ma'am, by 20 United States Supreme Court cases to this end. It should have been brought to my hand, required, and I am backed, ma'am, by 20 United States Supreme Court cases to this end. It should have been brought to my hand more than a month ago, and no evidence has been brought forward of any competency of any of this. I have to speak for myself, ma'am. No one here is capable of doing it, and particularly those that are bar or non-bar. They can only speak, ma'am, to the legal. My interest is to forfend my person's living name. Your Honor, this is an improper objection and violation of the motion. And there is any objection to this. Mr. Chicago, you're not taking a right, Mr. Riley, of the Ma'am? Who can tell the living man in a commercial event such as this, who has the right to tell the living man when he can speak and when he cannot speak, what sounds he can make and what sounds he cannot make? Do you understand? He is addressing British law, man. He is a minister on behalf of Great Britain. I will impose you contempt if you continue to disrupt the Ma'am, without oath and bond, contempt has already been established here. In the face of all these witnesses, ma'am, where is where is the evidence of oath and bond, ma'am? Look. How do you continue to disrupt? The requirement is right here, ma'am. Okay. It is through all ranks of the court, ma'am. I have done due diligence and due process, ma'am. Eye to eye, I faced those who would come against me. I communicated properly. I backed up my work. I backed up the research. It's nice and neat. And I have total failure. I have total incompetency of the court because there is no evidence of Mr. Riley's office, nor of yours, ma'am, nor of this lady's here, nor even the fine police officers that are here today. I have nothing to work with now. Now I'm out here hanging over the abyss. I must make my own way. And you will be allowed that. And allow Mr. Riley. Why? Please give me an honorable answer. Is a British recognized esquire asking questions in an American courtroom? Why is title of nobility applied behind this gentleman's name that is recognized as being banned from our country in the 1789 Constitution? Is nobody going to stand for our Constitution? I cannot, ma'am, in honor of the Constitution of the United States, I cannot allow a man who carries British recognition for the purposes of British ministerial law to continue to persecute me. I cannot, ma'am. I have to honor the, the founders, ma'am. I honor the memory of those who fought and died that we could be free of this very type of thing. 
Stand up. You better stand up. I give you. I give you my chance. No, no, pick me up. I cannot give you recognition. I am constrained by the United States Constitution of 1789. Sir, you're a Bozeman native. What are you doing back in the British recognition? You should be ashamed of yourself. Gentlemen, this is an overthrow of the 1789 Constitution, an overthrow of the Bill of Rights. It is an overthrow of Title 26, United States Code, and above all, it is an overthrow of universal law. I would one of you remove my ball of tie and return it to somebody in the crowd, please, so that it doesn't disappear from this place. We'll take care of that in a moment. Okay? See if my stuff makes it back in my bag. I do have a duly appointed court representative, ma'am. He has made his way through everything. He will speak as my voice. 